previously on Balls. 69 T. When that song was out, this guy was Hello. still taking heads off all over the world. Alan, how's it? It's Balls Radio. How are you doing, bud? How are you doing, guys? Good afternoon. Yeah, very good. Thanks. Hi, Listen, uh, um, yeah, you had a little bit of a moment yesterday, and our apologies because uh, apparently you dialed the wrong number and phoned John instead of somebody else. <laughs> and, You'll and never yeah, make that mistake just, again, eh? Huh? You'd never make that mistake just, again. Uh, just getting off one flight and boarding another, so uh, <laughs> uh, I thought I missed this call and I better phone back, so. Right. I apologize for that. No, no, thank no you. Uh, so listen, uh, good job again. Eh? You must be absolutely chuffed with the bowling performance from the uh, from the Proteas against the New Zealanders. Wow. Yeah, it was a great effort um, once again. And I think that, uh, you know, a lot was mentioned um, about the Kiwis when they arrived here and they they underestimated us. And I think that was the one thing that we did well was we played um, to their captain, you know, well, their previous captain, Dan Victoria. But, um, I just think that, that Gary and, 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 uh, of course, Graham, the driving force behind being, being absolutely ruthless and, and also stay very, very humble in our processes and stay very humble in, in, in uh, you know, against the opponents that we're playing against. So, but, uh, you know, it's, a lot of people have said, well, just turn up and do, do your business, but it's not, you know, it's not like that. It's just the way that we've gone about our business that, that, that is most impressive, and I think that the standards that we've set, we've kept to that, and I think that's the most impressive thing. Yeah, look, I mean, Ross Taylor, quality player. Uh, Dan Vittoria has turned out to be one of their top batsmen over the last few years, which which might have a sort of a, a story about New Zealand cricket in itself. I mean, he's not a bad bad player, but I mean, you know, a lot of sides internationally, they wouldn't only look at Dan Vittori as, as, as someone they would definitely rely on as a, as a kind of a top order contributor. But do you think they would have made much of a difference in the side? Because, I mean, our guys just seemed their intensity was just non-stop the whole way through. Yeah, no, no absolutely. I mean, look, uh, if you add Tim Salvi, Ross Taylor, um, and of course Dan Vittori to that outfit, um, then, then, then they become a form, formidable side. And, and not, let's not forget that, that Jesse Ryder is sitting at home Yeah. Um, as as, been, as not being in, in New Zealand cricket's best books of, of late, and uh, but he is he's scoring runs, massive runs back in back in New Zealand. So we'll pro- you'll probably see him, and I think they need him. I mean, they, 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 there's no question that they need him. He's changed his lifestyle, and you know, speaking to Carl Mills yesterday when the one day guys was was coming, you know, arrived and just before the end of the game, and he was just saying that he's he's really changed around his life, and he's. he's um, he's working very hard. He's into boxing. He's uh, he's he's come clean on the drinking front. Um, so um, so that's good to hear, you know. Yeah. So, but put those guys in there, and this team, and they are a, form- a formidable team. But I still, you know, I still would have backed ourselves to 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 have to have beat them, beaten them here in South Africa, even with those guys in it. Just making a note, uh, Jesse Ryder, Andrew Flintoff fight coming up <laughs> that seems to be the way these days you start training uh, by doing boxing and eventually you go into boxing it's crazy unbelievable yeah. um, you need to see the big men do that kind of stuff anyway yeah now uh, also Rory Kleinfeld obviously started off um, you know obviously very nervous in, in Australia but he seems to have uh, slotted into that Vernon Philander uh, role pretty pretty well offering that option for the uh, for the Proteus so um, yeah, he must be very happy after coming off the series uh, the way he's played. Yeah, I think I think the the good thing for from our perspective is, is that um, you know a guy gets injured, uh, and a lot of people would say, well, we hope that nothing happens to these guys, uh, you know, Vernon, Mourne, and 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 and, uh, and Dale, and and Jacques for that matter. But uh, it all, it's also nice for us to see what we have, and I think Rory has taken his chance with both hands. He really is impressed. He's bowled beautifully. He's got better, better. His confidence has grown uh, in a, in a big way, and uh, you know, and it's, it's it's just such good competition, you know. And, and he's worked he's worked very very hard uh, uh, from from his bowling perspective and from a fitness perspective. He's he's put in the yards, and and uh, so anyone that gets injured or gets left out, you know, it's, it's always nice to see that, uh, that there's someone that steps up and is willing to take that chance and and perform, which Rory has done very well. Awesome though, we got that there. We were just chatting yesterday about you know when JP's back and ready to go, uh, Dean's just come off, uh, come off, come off a ton. So, you know, you're in a position where you've got guys coming back and uh, you've got a difficult decision with the selectors and Gary and, and Andrew and his team uh, as to 
you know, what what to do. But it's a nice position to be in. It's a great headache to have, and yeah. I'd, I'd have those headaches for a long time to come. <laughs> you know, and it's hope that continues in that way. And Foss has shown that. You know, he's he's, gra- he's grabbed his chance, and and Dean has has had a bit of a rough rough introduction to Test cricket, but it's coming. I know. I know from from him being in in the amateur team in 2005. I, I just knew that this kid has got has got something quite special. He's a tough little tough little nut, and 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 the, the belief himself um, is is of such a nature that you know he's all of a sudden now taken over the captaincy at the Knights, and and uh, maybe that extra responsibility has, has has ignited his his career even more. But I, I just like his attitude. He, he just brings. Such a gritty and, and, a, and a determined attitude uh, in a batting at seven, of course, and scoring hundreds. But um, it's a great problem, Darren. It really mm. is. It's exci- it really is exciting period of, of absolutely uh, of South African cricket now, and, and 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 the talent that we have in the bank. I can't wait, and we'll go. I'll just quickly touch on. I used to look at the ODI to go. I'll touch on Pakistan because I'm really that's that's the series I'm most excited about out, out of all four. Uh, that, that the three that we've had and the one coming up. Before that, there just a couple of aside questions on this series. First of all, you were caught on TV having a long conversation with Dean Algar. Were you giving him batting tips? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I was telling him how to run between wickets. Uh, 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 no, no, not at all. It's, it's just that we were just having a bit of a chat there with just a general, general chat about this cricket and. You know, he's, he always asks questions, um, and he's, he's he's been beating people's ears, which is fantastic. And and that's you know, as a young kid coming in, and the first thing you 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 looking for is is for people to make you feel welcome. And I think that 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 has been done brilliantly by Graham and and Gary and and everybody else. You know, so uh, and and for him to ask questions is is, is a it, 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 you can you can just learn so much in a space in a short space of time by being around a group of experienced cricketers like this. Um, so no, we were just having a, 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 a you know a, I don't know how serious it looked, but um, it, <laughs> it looked pretty wasn't serious. That serious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the second one is, uh, and he, he's, he's 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 done it before against New Zealand. It was in a T20 game where he travelled a bit. Uh, did you have a word with the skipper after he bowled one over? <laughs> uh, no, he, he, he always comes off the field and say that was going to be the most painful thing that he has to do. But you know, um, <laughs> but uh, a few a few jokes was 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 going around. You. I think before the first ball was bowled on the field, I think AB said to Dean Alga, <laughs> AB said to Dean Alga, as far as you, my man, stay very low because there's going to be some filth in between this." <laughs> 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 Very good banter, um, on the field. and uh, and and also being Dean Elder the first time around gets around the helmet. You know he's not going to say no. He, he can't say no. Exactly. So, uh, and he's done it before for the night. So it's, yeah. Not, it's, uh, yeah, it's all good fun. All yeah. good fun. Yeah. I must, and, I, and I'd be really, really curious to find out uh, your thought on, on 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 this with all the series that we've had. England obviously was the battle of the top two. Uh, Australia is always the old enemy. We've we've done them we've done New Zealand as I think we would have expected to I'm really excited about these uh, young Pakistani fast bowlers coming through young Junaid and Irfan uh, on our tracks that series is my series out of all four I cannot wait to see that challenge that is going to be a decent most, challenge for the number one team in the world most most you know, I think you've been very kind saying this that'll be a top challenge I mean that'll be really it's Pakistan, and you know, you, first of all, you never know what you're going to get from Pakistan, and, and, and secondly, the talent is, is of such a nature. I've been watching this ODI series very closely in, in India um, and seeing what these young young quicks have, uh, are coming up with. Um, they are exciting. They've always been exciting, and they, see, and they just seem to keep producing young fast bowlers from, yeah. from absolutely no, nowhere that are so skillful. Yeah. Um, you know, all the time, and and it's a it's, it's a conveyor. Of, um, I, I spoke to Wazim Akram. Uh, he was in UK, and we were talking about the same thing. And he said, "Watch out for this young, this young seven foot guy." You know, and I was thinking of well, Jeepers, you know, and then <laughs> seeing him shake hands with the Indian guys and how they look up to him. You know, that's that's going to be that's going to be interesting from a from a bounce point of view. How much this guy is going to create? Yeah. You know, so. That's an advantage in, in itself. So more and more and this guy, so more and for a start, going to be looking up to this guy. So, uh, uh, <laughs> Crazy. So, uh, and <laughs> but it's 
Yeah, look, it's, it's going to be exciting. It always is against Pakistan, and 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 for us yet again, it's uh, it's going to be a test a test of our our resilience and our skills and and our professionalism. There's no question about that, and I don't have any questions about but those things are question marks. And um, so we know where we are right now, and and how we're going to measure ourselves against Pakistan and 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 with test matches to come, you know. And, so uh, we look forward to it. Really, yeah. Good. They seem they seem sort of evenly match balance wise. Uh, maybe maybe we saw the edges from a batting point of view, but uh, certainly and maybe experience on the bowling side. But certainly, you know, they've got the quick bowlers up front. They've got uh, uh, Umar Gul. They they've got uh, Ajmal who's going to certainly be one of the more quality, uh, probably the best spinner that we would have faced in our in all the series so far. So from a balance point of view, you'd imagine that these are t- probably two of the best balanced sides in the world at the moment. There's no question about it. And uh, you mentioned Ajmal there. He's absolutely world class. Uh, he's got all sorts of tricks up his sleeve and, you know, um, and they're, and they're young quicks. And, and I think that uh, it's already been spoken about on a very relaxed basis is that, uh, amongst a, a couple of us is that we're going to have to target their, their, their top six and making sure that they're under pressure throughout this whole, th- th- this whole series. And uh, again, you know, something we've done in, this, in, in, in all the cricket we've played over the last calendar year is, is get early wickets um, through aggressive, very ingre- uh, very aggressive and, uh, and, and, and using the new balls well. So, you know, nothing changes from that perspective. But uh, once you've, I've learned playing against Pakistan, if you give them a little rope, they'll take a lot. So they, mm. they, they do take advantage of, of mistakes and, and that's the class of this team, you know. So, uh, uh, we look, you know, something, something uh, very much to look forward to. Last one, side. Yeah, very quickly, Eddie. Tell us about Gary and and his approach when it comes to handling the guys. The reason why I ask is because it seems to me, from an outsider's perspective, that he he gives the guys a lot of freedom, but in doing so, there's a certain degree of responsibility, and you feel that the onus is on you to work. That's uh, that's correct. And I think his his way and his style of coaching is very much based around those facts. Of he wants guys to make their own decisions out there when in the heat of battle, and uh, for them to, to uh, give themselves the best chance of success um, by being their own judge and, and going with their gut feel. And, and I think you, you mentioned responsibility, and that is that is the key. Um, and I think that with and I, and I often say this with absolute respect to, to to other teams and, and, and this is where the experience comes in um, amongst this group of players I think that uh, I think the respect for each other um, and the, the respect for the game itself and the humility I think we play the game you know uh, and the experience and also you know it creates that responsibility so I think that that's that's a that's a wonderful space to be in you know and I Again, it's uh, you know you watch Australia and how they've dominated world cricket, and I think that team was pretty much like it is for us right now, um, and the experience that counts for it too. So, you know, it's um, but but yes, uh, the, the responsibility factor is is, is absolutely one hundred percent spot on. Awesome stuff, well, Eddie. We appreciate your time. Thanks so much for uh, all the insight and giving us uh, some more background to what went down in the New Zealand series. And uh, yeah, good luck for uh, obviously the ODIs coming up, and then uh, then Pakistan, that mouth-watering series right around the corner. Have a good one. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank Thanks, Alan. Bye bye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Alan Donald. What? <laughs> I think someone said end lady. No, I said cheers, Eddie. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind. Turn up your volume on those earphones. Jeez. What did they say to <laughs> Elgin? Something about the... D- <laughs> Hey? That uh, it made me laugh. What did he talk about? The, how he chirped Go Elgar. podcast, John. Yeah, it was we'll lovely. Be up there I later, like it. shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Donald yeah. joining us uh, on Balls Visual Radio this afternoon. Nice. Can't wait for that Pakistan uh, yeah, series. The AB de Villiers chirp. Yeah, that was it. I want to hear yeah. that again. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of filth yes. here. <laughs> <laughs> stay <laughs> down. Yeah, stay down. <laughs> this is Balls Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate, and John. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African time. Bulls.co.za